Hello everyone, my name is Mark Harrison and I have the privilege of being the head teacher at the fantastic school that is the Co-op Academy Swinton. You've got a very big decision to make folks. You've got the most important thing in your life, your child and their step into high school. And those teenage years are so important to get right. So the question I asked myself when I was taking my Matthew, who's in this photo, through this conversation was, what does the school stand for? Does the school reflect the values and the beliefs that you have as parents? Does the school reflect the values and beliefs that you want instilled in your child? And if the answer is yes, then it's the right school. So what do we represent and what are our values and beliefs? We very much think that we are the next step in your child's education, but an absolutely key one. They've had some fantastic building blocks put in place by primary school, and they will go on into employment and education afterwards. But if you don't get those teenage years right, then it can take people a long time to turn things around. The first thing that we do is we focus on values. And we will build a strong sense of values, beliefs uh, and expectations in your child of what they can achieve, for how they should interact with others and what they can go on and do in life. We raise their aspirations so they expect more of themselves. We open their eyes to what the, the very big and rapidly changing world can offer. One of the challenges that we face is we're actually probably preparing them for jobs that haven't been created yet. So it's important that we don't just get them qualifications. We also give them skills to match their ambitions so they can be flexible in terms of their learning and their work and their skill set as they get older. And it's not just about in terms of qualifications and exams. We are very strong believers in sport, music, art, the whole range of development of a child. And then the last part of that is, because if we don't get that right, we're asking them to take a leap after they leave high school and they won't have the ability to do that. So it's about opening the door that fits them and their aspirations, whether that be straight into employment, college, apprenticeship, university, whatever. We want to get them there. Everything we do is underpinned by our ways of being. And I think if I said to you in five years time when your child leaves this school, they're going to be able to do what matters most. They're going to be themselves. They're going to show other people that they care. And they know that success only comes by working together. Then I know we will have been successful. One of the things that's been difficult in the, in the COVID situation is transition. Uh, and the current year six into year seven, they got a raw deal. Normally, we would get to have children in the building for transition day. So they got used to the building and the teachers and met their new friends from all the different primary schools. They would have got to visit university so that they can raise their expectations of what is out there and really open their eyes to how big and successful the world can be. There would be additional nurture visits for those children who need that extra bit of uh, tenderness in terms of that transition process because of their own anxieties or their own nervousness and a really successful nurture program here. And then we amend things for year seven because it's such a change from primary. If you think about it, you're going from one teacher in one classroom all the time to potentially 12 different teachers, a much bigger building and much bigger children around you. You're no longer the big fish in a small pond. So to support them, that first half term, they work on a personal project that is something that they are passionate about. It lets us find out about the children and it really gives us an insight into who they are as individuals, as opposed to another face in a uniform arriving in year seven. And what we've also found is it is a huge confidence and skill builder for them and really sets them up. So by the time they get to October half term and we introduce the next wave of homework and ways of working in a high school, they're ready for it. All of these things are planned for the current year six, your children. And the only amendments will have to be depending on the world position and what's going on with COVID in the future. We're part of the Co-op Academies Trust, which is 26 schools across the northwest of England. Now, please be confident that the staff who are based here stay here and work here. But what the Co-op Academies Trust allows us to do is tap into the expertise across 27 schools and seek support where we need it and vice versa. We help in the development of others. So there's real excellence across the trust that is making a difference for the children and the staff in this building day in, day out. The co-op is really invested in this. 
and there's a very broad work experience program in really high quality positions, including at Angel Square in Manchester. Student leadership is a regular highlight of every year and work across the trust. And the actual co-op business itself has committed to a thousand paid apprenticeships for children who come through Co-op Academy Trust schools. A brilliant opportunity that can actually take children all the way through to degree level qualifications while also earning a salary. It's helped us raise standards across the school and is a real positive. The co-op has also supported us financially in terms of developments around the building and over the summer, for example, our new dance studio and refurbishment of a, a large amount of the building has helped it look absolutely brilliant. We don't just work with the co-op though, and we seek out any partnership that we think is to the benefit of our children. And there's just a few of them listed for you here, whether that's Manchester Metropolitan University, a range of colleges across Greater Manchester so that we can access whatever we need for whatever child a child wants to move on to in their life. We are the only school in Salford that is a Swire Chinese Language Foundation school offering Chinese as a subject from year seven. We highlight the fact that we work with EMI and BBC here to show you the passion we also have for performing arts, music, dance and drama. And then for the sports fans, we work with Swinton Lions, and also Manchester United Foundation, which I know will be contentious for a few of you out there, but they provide us with a member of staff and are a brilliant support. And it isn't about football. It's about children, student leadership and individual development and support. Back in 2019, we uh, had Ofsted visit. So it's not just me saying we're a good school. And there's a few quotes from the report there, and I'm sure you'll have done your research already, but we have consistently and always been a good school. And that's something that shows the consistency of leadership, of staff and the quality of education that children have received here for a very long time. And then there's what we need from you. The children will always lose out the moment that home and school stop working together. So what I will ask is if you want this to be the school for your child, that you commit to making sure that they've got outstanding attendance, that they know that they are here to learn and develop as an individual in every sense, and that we expect the highest standards of behavior. We are also not very patient with children who think it's okay and get in the way of other children learning. So I need your support at home that if you commit to sending your child to this school, that you will also commit to delivering those three things from your part of that little circle there, which is attendance, learning and behavior. And then in terms of next steps, please take time to peruse everything that's on this website, the videos, the links, the information from each head of subject, phone up school and ask all the questions you need. And also, if you want to try and come for a tour, let us know and we will see how we can work around the current COVID restrictions to support you. The biggest asset our school has are the children. They are fantastic and I would love the opportunity to show them off. But obviously, we just need to be a bit careful at the moment. Now, that's the old brochure that used to get sent out back in the days when we used paper. It's all online now, and you should have had the Salford admissions link already shared with you from Salford Centrally. Um, good luck with your decisions. I understand that it's absolutely massive for you, um, that you get the right choice. We think that we can make a massive difference for your child. And if you feel that we reflect the values and the belief system that you also share, then hopefully we're the right school for your child too. Okay, look forward to meeting you.